Hey everybody, Mojo here. Today I'm changing the oil on my 2022 Honda Monkey. It's fairly simple. You have a oil filter that's behind that cap. And then your drain plug is right underneath. I will be using 10W40. I use 10W40 instead of 10W30 because I normally run hotter than most people do. This bike is set up mainly for trail riding. So my speed is really slow. Also, I have a skid plate which restricts some of the airflow over my cylinder. And because of that, I just run a heavier oil. The tools that I will need are basically my socket, an extender, my socket wrench to remove the drain plug. My cap runs a five millimeter Allen. And then my drain plug is a 14 millimeter. Yours might be different. I changed mine out to a magnetic drain plug. So the size might be a little bit different for the socket. Also, because of my skid plate, there are certain things that are a little bit different to change the oil, such as there is a hole right down here so I can access my drain plug. And then after I pull it, oil drops through. Some lands on the skid plate. I clean it up afterwards. When I take off the cap, normally I put a rag right underneath here just to catch some of the oil and try and keep it a little bit cleaner, less clean up afterwards. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm going to undo my drain plug. I'll open up the filler cap. Okay, and now this cleaned up. When you have a spring, 
that goes right here and it pushes on the filter right in here is your filter grab me a We'll use a small flat head just to pop this out of here. And that's your filter. And that's why I put the rag there, it's just to catch all that excess. Then Take my other filter. So this filter with a rubber on that end goes inside and it fits over that. So you push it in. Then you have your spring that goes in there. And then you have your cap that goes back on and so it pushes the spring goes right in that hole And then everything just goes back together again. Now my oil has drained out enough. Normally you change your crush washer. I'm just going to continue to use mine. I haven't had a problem using it more than once. Okay, and then I'll try and clean up underneath here as best I can. It's a little bit hard because I can't really get my hands in there as well. But like I said, I do what I can just to get some of the excess oil off. And then I fill it back up. And yes, I know there's supposed to be different torque settings on things and whatnot. I really haven't looked into it. But if you want to, you can. Oil, I can't remember offhand how much it takes. 
I mainly just fill it up to the line. And normally I try not to spill, but as you can see, it didn't work out this time. Built all over the place. Okay. So there is a view window right down here on the side. It tells you the level of your oil. So I filled it up to that level indicator that's on there. And then what I do is I start the bike up. And I let it run the oil through the motor a bit just so it fills up the oil filter and anywhere else in the oil in the motor that the oil may have drained out of. Then I come back and I check that view and see now. it's not indicating anything on there because I just ran the oil through the system and it filled up the other areas that drained out when I drained out the oil and took out the oil filter it's not going to get that much get it back up Almost. Just a little more. And there we go. Get the cap back on. We'll wipe everything down. And one more oil change is finished. So I ride my bikes really hard. Because of that, I change my oil before the recommended change time and mileage. And there we go. Now I'll go through the rest of the bike. Just make sure everything else on here is still set good I'll probably need to oil a chain I have a I run an o-ring chain but I still use chain wax on it and lube it up but the tensions good everything else looks good on it it's always good whenever you do your oil change or have your bike up on a table or are going through things just to do a visual on everything and make sure it all looks good especially if you ride them off-road a lot things have a tendency to rattle loose oh I hope 
this video video was helpful for you if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments and I will answer them the best I can